right, welcome back to Silver Bay today. Like I said, we do have a trail of August guests. August visitors in the studio. We've had the amazing King Papi talking about all things nightlife, and right about now we have two amazing personalities who are talking about the movie life. Uh, of course, we have the amazing award-winning Bimbo Ademoye in the studio to my left. Uh, of course, she's done a lot, a lot. I, I don't want to start reading out so many projects that she has been on, but she's here in the studio talking about her life so far as an actor and her newest project. Welcome to the yeah, studio, Bimbo. Thank you, Bridget. Welcome. And we do have an amazing amazing producer as well to my far left my father <laughs> left. english is that of course beautiful amazing lady daramola uh, executive producer a media executive filmmaker and senior project manager consultant for both nasa and the u.s department of state welcome thank you i said ma or sa <laughs> the accolades is a lot uh, but yeah i mean moving from that to filmmaking advisor to nasa yeah advice to nasa yes <laughs> my chest is beating <laughs> all right so we'll be talking about uh, of course this project um hotel amamba which is something that both of you are on but before we even do that let's talk about you bimbo i mean you've just been like it's just been like pop, 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 pop. Oh. <laughs> honestly you. how has it been that you've been able to keep the trail blazing since it kicked up um i know it sounds cliche but first i'll say god <laughs> and then um consistency it hasn't mm -hmm. been easy it's, it's a lot of hard work you know having to like think come up with ideas and take the risk of you know executing those ideas mm -hmm. financing it by myself mm -hmm. and whatnot but god has been faithful and you know amazing and talking about this we could talk about your early life as an actress right yes uh, what has changed um of course i don't audition for roles anymore of course <laughs> and um what has changed as an actor which is also me as a person i almost don't have my freedom anymore oh. but i mean it's a price you have to pay you know uh before the whole fame and everything i could step out do whatever i wanted but now like how dare you be sad how dare you be upset like somebody walks up to you for a picture you have to always be happy you say uh no right now it's taking that what's the one on this one mm. film is not even sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know so um it's just uh the freedom is gone but i mean i love my fans i'll do anything for them and uh, aside that you just always have to think when I was a normal person not that anybody's abnormal but when yeah. I was a normal person I just woke up to my like leave life uh, you know but I'm sitting with you right now I'm thinking of the next thing to yeah, shoot you know the next yeah. content to create the next film to produce and it's, it's not, it's not yeah. life as a female actor life as a female actor has been it has been an exhilarating experience I would say mm -hmm. I mean God has been good to me um, people have been kind to me the universe has been kind my cyber family as I call them have been amazing they support me they love me they love everything I do I've mm -hmm. not had any reason to like be harassed or you know be like offered nonsense just to like get a role or anything so mm -hmm. it's been it's been good for me yeah we're still going to be talking about you and all the things you've done life on set mm -hmm. and all of that but like i want to know <laughs> <laughs> with all of the accolades at nasa um involvement all those you know serious space and then filmmaking yeah so um over the last 25 years my passion has always been film and i worked with lots of independent filmmakers in baltimore in particular in the u.s and so i finally got to the point in my life during covid where i had to make some hard decisions mm. one of my twins was sick she was in the hospital and we were I, the world was isolated then i was double isolated with her in the hospital for six months and so i had a lot of time to think and write and i said you know what it's time to do me and do what i'm passionate about and mm. live life to the fu fullest excuse me and so that's exactly why i jumped in with my hands my feet everything everything said, I'm, I'm and the week it. it's, it, 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 it's <laughs> now kidding. or never yeah. and so um i started pursuing the film um actually this is hotel abamba was not my first film i was pursuing another one which i ended up shelving and then i started again and luckily I was able to talk to Bjorn Stevens, who's our director on this film, mm. and um, we were able to put it all together. So this time last year, we actually shot the film mm -hmm. um, here in Lagos. Yeah, I'm sure people are wondering what the film is, because she just said the film, the film. Will we let you know what the film is down <laughs> down? Okay, but you're also a photographer. Yeah. Like, it's like most people, when, when they travel, they become multi-talented. They just start doing so many other things. Yeah, so I'm definitely a creative. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, I've been a graphic designer, photographer, 
I started photog photography because my twin girls, um, they were premature and I would cry into the NICU. One was in the NICU for one month, the other two months. And so the Nigerian nurse that was working would tell me, don't come in here unless you're taking photos of them and remembering what God did for you the day before. Mm. So I progressed from my phone to a f um, camera that I bought on eBay. Mm. And then now I have one of the best cameras in the world. And wow. I've been able to shoot for brands like Macy's. My daughter is model for Macy's. Oh, wow. um, they work with other huge brands Brand. as well That's in the amazing. US. That's yeah. Impressive. That's impressive. So that's how I started in photography. Now talking back, uh, coming back to film, mm -hmm. you know, being one of your latest works, Hotel La, Hotel La, La Bamba. Bamba. I see, that <laughs> is, uh, is, is, when I hear like, which kind of problem, Wahala, let's talk about you being on that project, Bimbo, and uh, what the story meant to you, how it spoke to you. Um, being on Hotel La Bamba for me was actually an honor because anytime you're interested in post that call, through it's always like oh my god thank you so much for considering me for this role so um and it was double honor for me because it's actually like it's it has like i think 70 percent comedy yeah and i wasn't given the comedy role like everybody knows <laughs> yeah me that's shocking exactly so when i got the script i'm like you gave me ZZ. Are you sure? She's like, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, you don't even see me more than being a stupid person or something. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and you know, it, that that kind of like made me feel good. And getting on set, seeing um, blessing Jessica Obasi, seeing Adidi Meji Latif, mm -hmm. you know, all the funny actors, and I was given the serious role, just made me feel okay. You know what? Maybe I'm just doing the right thing. And the storyline, I I thought it was amazing. A lot of people think the same as well, obviously from you know, the Fair reviews best. and everything. So. It was very wonderful and then meeting her in person was she she's like one of the best producers ever like she's so cute, oh, she's so <laughs> cute. You. you know okay so you being a product uh, producer mm -hmm. of hotel and um and the kind of cast that you decided to pull through because uh, away from and to be able to put in the cast together it's also something that you would look through and say okay i'm okay with these people mm -hmm. i'm okay with this how did when she put all of that together and you being the producer executive producer i believe yes. uh what was your take when you comes to the cast of the project okay so for the casting um Bjorn and i just kind of like sat down we zoomed a lot because i'm in between two countries mm. um so we i had some ideas of particular people that i wanted to see in, in my first feature film and then she also had her own ideas and yeah. so we just do the back and forth oh what do you think about this and then if she saw a clip of um the actor or actress in that particular way that we needed them to be for the move for the movie, movie i would go look at it and say oh i see why yes agreed and mm. so we just worked t t well together there it was, you know a lot of times people have this idea that female filmmakers may have like Hushes, bump heads yes. or, or whatever but it was just a fantastic experience all the way through wow. and then mm. the story the storyline uh, just portrays the fake life oh absolutely. you know um why did you think that 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 kind of story was needed to be told i mean so we, we know that this is happened but yeah. yeah so the idea is beyond like the comedic factor in the film it's always it was important to me and those that know Bjorn is very important to her that some um people that watch walk away with a lesson and so we wanted to expose a lot of things happening in the culture so you you'll get a lot of the culture mm. in in this film and then also you know put some lasting thoughts in your mind about and so that you can like process okay my in my decision making is it worth my life is it worth this and mm. so i think you would definitely get that once you watch the movie a, a strong yeah, lesson impressive i also see that a lot of movies don't really come with their own um, um soundtracks it's not something that is popular but this mm. has kind of like put like together a full album yeah we put together a full album it came out of a problem actually i was looking for i was sourcing for music for the film and um it was like my baby project um and i realized that it was going to be too expensive for me to license all this music so i said you know what i'm going to make my own daggone music and mm. let's go and so i was able to put nine or eight artists together we did nine tracks and we used all of them for the movie and you get to listen the movie and the album came out on the same, same day, day. Yeah. Bimbo, you see you have done fantastic in your lifetime Thank i want you. to see because you know it's good that you're not put in the box you know how it easily put people to stereotype you as a particular kind of actor and when you saw that it was easy for you to jump on because like a breath of fresh air is not something that i'm always doing uh, you know um but there was a quote you gave when you said uh, 
being in the hood almost mm -hmm. you know ruined your life um being in the hood was that what where you got that inspiration to be that comical absolutely Mm. absolutely you know um growing up in the hood i'm very proud of my hood shout out to him and uh you know i it's it's different people from different places a lot of people see the things that i do and they just laugh and think oh you know where did she come up you know with that how did that come up these are people that i watched growing up mm. i hope she doesn't hear me but yabaraka is actually my dad's sister that's how she talks <laughs> And you know, um, Sibe is, is like is a combination of my hairdresser plus my mm -hmm. lash technician. Who she would say, I like, are you like whatever she I like cheese, <laughs> you know. So uh, all of them like that, yeah. they all came from the hood. So it was just me like replicating. So these things that you see is actually like in built, yeah, exactly. So I'm just like replicating what the things that I see. You know, my hairdresser calls um, Swiss lays, Swiss lays, you know, so stuff like that. It's just you want to <laughs> It's hilarious having people like that around mm -hmm. you i think it always puts you on your toes and just keeps you creating stuff mm -hmm. now just quickly before we go back to la bamba just to clear the air you know there are a lot of people who have seen you post a, a beautiful girl a kid on your i've always said ah, that's been most child just wanted a to boy a boy rather. yeah yes and they want to clear the air if that is actually that's your... my nephew that's my nephew and godson i've cleared the air several cleared the sky cleared the atmosphere the weather everything that's my sister's child is we're all obsessed with him he's everybody's first he's my first nephew my sister's first child my father's so first love. grandson and and be like, <laughs> <laughs> they me like that I was like, I'm obsessed <laughs> I'm oh, obsessed well. with him. He's oh, like everybody's beautiful. joy. That's beautiful. Uh, so back to uh, La Bamba now um, and the, the, the message that it's passing. What are the other plans for La Bamba? What are the plans you have put in store? I know the movies are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What other things should we be expecting when it comes to La Bamba and more projects? Okay, so um, Hotel La Bamba is in cinema now and um, we're definitely exploring doing um, a premiere in the UK and in the US because um, a lot of my family and friends are in the US and then also I'll be shooting my next project in October gig yay so we, walk up through <laughs> <laughs> no problem we got you so, um, so I'm really excited about that I've been going through the process of hi hiring my producer and director and it's a whole new team so it's gonna be excellent mm, so Bimbo what's up with you and all that works you know skates you know you always have something up your sleeve uh, yeah you're the producer <laughs> away from the one that you're acting here mm -hmm. you're also a producer i am a producer mm -hmm. um so for um as regards skits or well my series Sibe, the final episode airs this saturday mm. and then we're moving on to yabaraka coming back for season three and um i'm working on something with um, jadio shiberu again i'm i'm one of the executive producers of gangs of lagos so we're working on something else nice. come october as well and uh, for now i think that's about it. i'm also working on a murder misery movie to air in december but i don't know when we're shooting yet but yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. Uh, that's amazing i mean october something's coming october so i see i have two projects to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blessed. Thank you guys for coming to the show. I appreciate us. you and well done. Thank it's you. It's great having you here. I Thank hope you guys have enjoyed me. the conversation uh, so far. August guests real did real, right? Of course, I promised you goodness, and they came through. Our word for the day. Uh, this is from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Uh, for every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of your happiness. For every minute you are angry. All right. So that's it. We'll see you on the next time. Celebrate today tomorrow at 11. I'll see you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye for now.